right, so go PSU Sports here with head coach Mark Pavlik. Pav, thanks for joining us. Great to, for you guys to be here once again. After spring break, you survived. And coach, coming off the uh, two matches against West Coast teams, Long Beach State and Cal State Northridge, how do you think the team fared against competition from across the USA? A uh, little disappointed. I think we left some points on the on the table against Northridge. Um, they had uh, had a real good middle. Uh, I didn't think that we passed the ball well enough to really make ourselves give ourselves the full dimension of our offense. Um, go to an extended 39-37 game, which I thought we competed well from 25 on with that. Um, the next night against the number one team in the country, Long Beach, I thought we played very well. And I, I think right now Long Beach is probably about four or five points better than us. And I think you saw that over the course of the match, just a point here, a point there. And um, I think we were, just, we were in all but one of the games where everything that could go wrong did go wrong for us, and, but we recovered nicely from that and, and, and played pretty well from that point on. I thought they did a good job of taking away uh, some of our strengths and you kind of expect teams in that, uh, of their talent and, and their experience level to say, okay, this guy isn't going to hurt us badly. And, and you know, they did a good job on slowing Nugent down and uh, slowing our middles down. And after a week off, you have two matches again this weekend. First one against St. Francis, who you've already played before. What's something you learned from that first match that you can well, take with you? One, we can't overlook them. This is, that first match really starts the second half of the EIBA schedule. And right now, we're sitting three games ahead of, uh, of Harvard, I believe. And, you know, so we want to, the EIBA schedule is our top priority. So we got to take care of St. Francis. And we know that. Steve Braswell is a very good outside hitter for them. Mike Marshman can put balls away in the middle. Uh, they can get on some serving runs with some of their servers. We just got to make sure that we control the ball. And again, when we can, when we are at our full dimension of offense, I think we're going to be a handful for anybody. And then your second match this weekend against Ohio State, who just knocked off Long Beach State. Yeah. What type of threat do the Buckeyes pose? They serve the crap out of the ball. Uh, Nick Zerzan, their outside hitter, All-American, just heavy arm, great serve. Um, you know, they've got, and he's only one of about five jump spinners that they can put pressure on you. You know, so our passers are going to have to bat. Um, Ohio State doesn't make a whole lot of offensive errors, so we got to try to keep them a little bit off balance, and our block and D are going to have to come up big. It's going to be a... It's going to be a pretty, pretty intense Penn State Ohio State match, I think. And for you guys against Ohio State, would you say this is maybe another measuring stick type game for your team to see where you're at? Yeah, you know, I think we're at a point now where March is all about competing. Um, like I said, I wasn't happy with Northridge, much happier with Long Beach for our first two out. Now let's see what we do. I'm not really worried about. You know, kind of where we are. I think we've got a good feel after last weekend. And, you know, if we can, if we can have our offensive, uh, our side out game settle out, uh, we can be, we can force people to play at a high level for a long time. Unfortunately, Ohio State has shown that they can play at a high level for a long time. So, it's going to be a, a real interesting matchup.